We are in Beverly Hills today about to tour this brand new construction home right here. This home features a total of five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 6,000 square feet of interior space, an elevated pool in the backyard, and an incredible kitchen and master bedroom you guys are not gonna wanna miss, so let's go inside. As we arrive inside through your pedestrian gate, we've arrived to your private front door where you can see beautiful landscaping consisting of rock features and a couple of olive trees to both sides of me. Outdoor lighting surrounds this pathway. And there's a path to my left that leads to your two car garage door, your driveway and your motor gate. As we look at the exterior of the home, it's got phenomenal curb appeal with the white brick detail on the exterior on the lower half. We've got modern outdoor lighting as well on the exterior, and we're actually going to be greeted by Jennifer, the listing agent of the property, as we head inside, so let's do it. Hey, how are you? Hi, hi, good, how are you? Good, thanks. Welcome Thank to 2100 you. San Isidro in Beverly Hills. It's a five bedroom home located on almost 16,000 square foot lot. Thanks so much, Jennifer. I can't wait to check out everything this home has to offer. And let's start here in the grand entryway with the high ceilings. You've got one skylight directly above me to fill in this space with some natural sunlight. The curved wooden staircase to my left as well is a beautiful greeting right as you enter the home, as well as all the curved walls and finishes above me with the clad on wood material to that second level above. But we're actually gonna start by heading into the dining room as we take a turn to the right when we enter the home. So this is your formal dining area and the statement piece in here is definitely this beautiful modern light fixture hanging right above your dining table. You can sit eight to 10 at this dining space. You've got two windows bringing in natural sunlight, looking out to the side yard, looking out to the landscaping in your front yard, a couple built-in speakers above us, as well as a few recessed lights. But as we wrap around this dining room, you'll enter into your beautiful chef's kitchen. I do like the layout so far that you have the dining area separate from the chef's kitchen. So if you're gonna be enjoying a meal, you're not seeing everyone cooking up the good stuff. You can have your chef in here, or you can be cooking in here too if you buy this house. We've got a five burner gas stove on your incredible marble island, and you have a second island actually, dual island kitchen with this beautiful marble, purple tones on the veins there, and plenty of brand new white oak wood cabinetry with soft closing doors and a beautiful looking oven. It's not your standard modern oven. We have the La Cornu en France oven. I hope I said that correctly. It's always, always have trouble with those foreign words. But as we turn to my left, we've got some pantry space and your push to open fridge and freezer, stainless steel, Thermador fridge and freezer with the wood panel finish on the exterior there. Another cool thing as we look at the marble countertops is up above we have your hood vent above the five burner, also surrounded by that same marble stone we see on the countertops. And as we look at the countertops up against the wall, it's not marble, but travertine actually, with the integrated large sink. This is one of the larger sinks that you'll see, especially in a home at this price point, under $10 million. We've got the travertine backsplash, the travertine countertops, and more storage space down beneath. You have your dishwasher just to the right of the sink as well. You might have not seen that tinted glass cabinetry up above with LED lights under every single floating shelf in there. Now looking at your second of your two center islands, marble once again, the same marble stone we've been seeing, and you can see two people at a breakfast bar on this second island. One thing about when you have dual islands in a kitchen is normally they're a little bit closer together. This space is more narrow, but there is a good amount of space to where you can actually pull out these breakfast bar seats and someone can walk by you as well. You don't have to kind of squeeze in. It's, it's all about the little things that you don't think about too often that really make this one of a kind. We've got two modern chandeliers above these countertops and you've got two more breakfast bar bar stools on this side as well. On the outside, facing your formal living area with a large fireplace surrounded by more travertine stone, a couple linear windows to both sides of the fireplace as well, built-in speakers all around, and this is just your open layout. 
The home looks great from this view. We're looking into the kitchen. It's probably where you're going to be spending the most time, maybe watching the game up above the fireplace while your, the rest of your family is cooking up meals in this kitchen. I mean, look how modern the interior looks right here. We're also right next to a few sliding Fleetwood stack doors that lead out to the backyard area that we will check out in just a second. But follow me this way. Let's go back to the center portion of the home. Walking past the entryway of the home, you have more outdoor access to my right, but here we are. We've entered a hallway on the opposite wing of the house, the left wing, and if you follow me, I'm gonna walk backwards for just a second and show you what's over here. We've got some storage space underneath your stairs. We've got the door that leads into your two-car garage with brand new epoxy floors and a brand new wood garage door. I'm saying brand new because I can honestly smell the wood on the garage door from here. Absolutely love new construction homes just because of the smell of the wood, honestly. I know you guys would too if you were here, but I don't think you can smell from that side of the screen. But if you take a turn to the left, you enter your home through your garage. This is your powder room where we have a massive marble floating block with the integrated sink and your gold fixture. Two modern light fixtures on both sides of the mirror. Dark walls throughout as well as up on the ceiling. Toilet tucked back in the corner here. We have herringbone pattern on your wood floors in this powder room as well. Something different than what we've been seeing throughout the rest of this main level, but take a turn with me. Nest thermostat throughout the home, which is what you're seeing in a lot of these mansions, especially out here in Beverly Hills, but this might be my favorite room of the house so far, honestly. Just a little cozy seating space, cozy area for the family. Maybe you can read a book up here. You can put a flat screen TV up on those wood beamed walls. This fireplace is surrounded by some dark stone detail to both sides, plenty of countertop space as well. I love the look of that stone. It contrasts very nicely from the bright wood surrounding us. This is a symmetrical look with four floating wood shelves to both sides, but on the opposite side, we've got this mesh finish on the outside of all this cabinet space. We've got a built-in mini fridge down there, dark interior, the same dark stone that we see on the opposite side where your fireplace is. Built-in sink on the right side with a matte black faucet and then some more tinted floating cabinet space up above with the LED lights that look phenomenal, super modern look to this space. More floating wood shelves, more LED lights on the opposite side. And then let me just show you what's through here real quick as we push this sliding glass door open. You've got this little water feature out here in your side yard. Now this space is where you should probably hang out, read a book, enjoy your morning coffee because this is just so tranquil, super peaceful and private if you close the door. And then if you just take a couple steps back inside and a couple more details about this space is you have the wood ceiling details with the recessed lights, two built-in speakers, and then a herringbone pattern on the floors in this room but let's keep on moving down the hallway. There's also no door to enter, so it's just a nice free-flowing space throughout the home. But if we go back this way, this is a bedroom down on this main level. It's currently staged as an office space, definitely big enough to be a guest bedroom. You've got some wood doors in some closet space in front of me, more sliders to lead into the backyard that we will check out in just a second and a full bathroom with some quartz countertops, large light gray tile in here and surrounding you in the shower, chrome shower head, just everything that you'd need in a guest bathroom or an office bathroom too. But that was everything for this main level, guys. We're gonna go back to the main entryway and start with showing you that backyard. We've made it to the backyard where we have a fire pit in the center surrounded by some outdoor seating. This is a very private area, even though we are not covered all the way, but we do have walls to three sides of us. There is a little covered awning with recessed lights and two built-in speakers, but if you want to enjoy the open air, just take a couple steps forward. We've got concrete slab and a little rock pattern beneath my feet. And then as you look into the backyard, lots of beautiful real grass, not turf out here. And then the elevated pool directly in front of me with some ficus trees on the back. We will head up there and show you what the view looks like of the house from the pool area, but follow me to the right. There is a little pathway with some outdoor lighting on the grass. You've got this rock pattern once again. Outdoor dining over here on the right side of the backyard. More ficus trees to keep it private. 
And then over here in the corner, we've got your Turbo Elite barbecue grill on these dark stone countertops in the corner. A few bar seats as well to just enjoy the day, maybe have a burger, cook up some hot dogs for the friends and family. And as you can see, this backyard is super private out here in Beverly Hills. The hill goes up really high. This is all your property. Also on the opposite side of the street, you can see the beautiful hill as well. It is just an absolutely perfect day today. Not a cloud in the sky, but let's head up these steps, as you can see, there's more outdoor lighting on every single step. Elevated pool and spa with a waterfall flowing down into that moat. Then you can see the beautiful new construction property directly in front of me and the grass in your backyard. There's lots of room in this backyard for a Beverly Hills new construction home. You can have the dog run around, play some cash, throw the football around, do whatever you'd like. I'd be playing wiffle ball out there. That's what I was doing in my backyard as a kid. Maybe not at a property like this, but something a little bit smaller with uh, some grass space as well. But like I said, some ficus trees to my left that cover this space. Plenty of space up here for some lounge chairs to just hang out right by the pool and spa as well, elevated above the rest of the backyard. You've got more steps on the opposite side too, next to that jacuzzi area. Let's head back down and show you the rest of the inside. So as we head upstairs to the top level, we arrive to a little common space seating area that overlooks the front door. We're getting natural sunlight hitting us, honestly, from the skylight above that I showed you in the beginning of the video. High vaulted ceilings with a wood beam in the center. Lots of windows surrounding us, honestly, guys. And directly in front of me, as you walk up those stairs, we do have a balcony up here in the very center of your backyard that overlooks the pool, your mountain out here in Beverly Hills. Whenever I can say that you have a mountain, I think that is a good sign. That is a plus to have in a home. I mean, who wouldn't want to have their own mountain to look at in your backyard? But let's head back. And there's a total of four bedrooms up here, three directly in front of me and the primary suite behind me. There's two ways to access the primary suite. One is to my right, where we'll enter the bedroom. To my left, you'll enter the bathroom, which is pretty interesting. The entire wing is your primary bedroom, but enough talking about it. Let me just show you this. As soon as we walk in, I mean, these ceilings are even higher than in the common area. Up here on your second level, high vaulted ceilings with the wood beam, a couple of built-in speakers, and there are two large windows that look out to your backyard as well that start from the floor. Don't go all the way up to the ceiling actually, but solid size, maybe about seven, eight feet high up there to both sides of your couch. Beautiful contemporary staging throughout as well. California king size bed, a couple of modern light fixtures to both sides of that bed. And this is just an extravagant room. It's nice to have a room, a bedroom with high ceilings. Doesn't make you feel claustrophobic and like you're just being locked into your own bedroom. You want to wake up and feel like you can breathe, honestly. I know you guys can understand what I'm saying when I'm saying that. And then you walk in through here, we've got walk-in closet with a wood pocket door and a sleek handle to open it right here with the push of a button. We will open that up and show you this extravagant modern closet. We've got a center island with travertine countertops, similar to what we saw in the kitchen downstairs, and the walls completed with wood finishes throughout, LED lights underneath a couple of the shelving in here, and you've got this matte black handle on some of the drawer spaces as well, all soft closing, plenty of room for all of your clothed goods. On the opposite side, we've got more of that modern tinted glass look, and this is kind of cool. You have a little, what looks like a belt loop down here to open these tinted glass doors, and they do go from floor to ceiling, so those are large slabs of glass that cover all of the closet door spaces on this wall specifically. And then there are also two doors through this closet, one to my right that enters into that bathroom, like I said, so follow me through here. Yet again, we do have a wood pocket door to open up this space. And this bathroom might be one of the best in this area of Beverly Hills specifically. Look at all the marble, absolutely coated in marble in this bathroom. I'm going into the shower first off, guys. I mean, look at this shower. Have you ever seen bookmatched marble look this nice? The V-shaped bookmatched marble, absolutely gorgeous, coated on the floors, the walls, the ceiling above me. We have a skylight in here, narrow skylight, couple of recessed lights and two bronze rain shower heads. Large shower niche extends from wall to wall in here. And the handheld ones, always enjoy the handheld ones. Gotta, gotta see how that feels. 
because maybe I'll make this shower my own one day, who knows. But then we've got glass walls surrounding us as well. It's not marble, it's glass. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's close this off. Directly in front of the shower, you've got a deep soaking tub with another bronze faucet right there. Dual vanity with a drop down wood makeup station on the right side with a circular mirror above and a little window that looks down into the front yard. So while you're doing your makeup, if anyone's entering your house and you gotta get ready quick, you can, you can do that right here. And looking at the backsplash right above the makeup station, you do have that same stone. Some storage space in your drawers down here in the center and a little narrow area where you see that floating wood shelf for your towels. Water closet is through this wood door. It's always nice to keep that private and not in the open, but that was everything for here in your master bathroom. There's actually a second water closet on the opposite side of your shower as well. So you got two toilets, two shower heads, two sinks, but only one tub. Maybe some of these homes got to make two tubs because you got two of everything except for the tubs. Maybe they got to make it big enough so two people can hang out in the tub, but I don't know. That's just me thinking right now, guys, but let's head out of this bathroom through the second door. As you can see, we're back in the common space. That's where we entered the bedroom. Now we're gonna cross this section and show you these three bedrooms briefly. In front of me, we've got your laundry area with modern finishes once again, floating wood cabinetry, quartz countertops, a stainless steel sink, and your washer and dryer conveniently located between all these bedrooms in this hall. Now this is your junior suite, as you can see. Takes on an L shape, wraps around, and you have a private balcony here. We will go out real quick. First thing we're gonna show you guys, this is a large private balcony. It's just about as big as the balcony we see from the common space as well. It extends all the way to the end of the wall so you can look down all the way into the kitchen from here, honestly. You can see everyone in the backyard having a barbecue, hanging out by the pool and the jacuzzi. You can just yell at them if you're gonna be living in this junior suite. But let me show you back inside this bedroom. Walk-in closet behind me with the modern finishes in there. And the bathroom is a bit different from the master. We also have marble in here, but a different look in the marble instead of the purple accents we've been seeing. It's more of a, a bronze, a gold-ish look in this marble specifically. We also see it on the countertops, but this is definitely a high-end luxurious look for any bathroom in general. But let's head out of this junior suite and show you the last two bedrooms Let's check them out. Back down the hall, you actually have a gallery wall to my right where you can display your favorite photos of friends and family and a narrow skylight above me bordered by wood finishes, which is very unique. We don't see that too often. There's also one on the opposite side of this level between both doors heading into the primary suite with a couple of lights to display that gallery wall. But as you head down this way, you've got two bedrooms. All these bedrooms are pretty decently sized. You can see this one is staged with two twin beds. You also have a private balcony. We're not gonna go out to that one, but that one is facing the side yard of your home. Once again, you have a large modern walk-in closet similar to the last bedroom. Recess lights in here and the bathroom. I gotta show you this bathroom, guys. I can't just skip out on these because they're all very different in their own way. We've got a smart mirror that when you press the light, on the mirror, it displays the LEDs on the back side, which is always nice. Sleek, smooth stone detail on your countertops and the chrome fixtures, which we have not seen yet throughout this home. We see the same stone work on the cabinetry, down on the tiled flooring, as well as in the shower here. And you've got an LED light in your shower niche. I don't know what it is about an LED light in a shower niche, but it just makes me feel at home. It makes me feel like I can actually see my shampoo, especially if it's dark and I have to shower. But let's head out of this one. There's one more bedroom to check out right next door. Now this bedroom might get the most natural sunlight of every bedroom. The sun is just hitting me right above that green, beautiful green mountain out here in Beverly Hills, a very private area in the Beverly Hills post office. Once again, you have a private balcony right off of this bedroom queen size bed to my left. This one overlooks the front yard. Once again, full walk-in closet with the modern finishes in there. And en suite, of course, they're all en suite. This time, it's the first time we're seeing this. You've got a built-in bathtub into your shower, chrome shower head, more marble throughout. You see how each bedroom does have marble detailed finishes, but they're all different. They all have their own look to it. There is some kind of character to each bathroom, but that was everything here in this bedroom. Let me just go back downstairs and show you that kitchen one last time.
Thank you guys so much for making it to the very end of this video. If you didn't, you haven't hit the like button already, please do so kindly. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you want to see more full luxury home tours just like this one. Also, I got to mention my favorite part of this house. I was going to say the elevated pool in the backyard, but I might have to switch it up and say that it's gonna be this kitchen. You don't see dual islands this often with this beautiful of marble stone as well. I mean, this, this is why I wanted this angle for my outro specifically, guys. Thanks so much again to Jennifer, the listing agent, for letting us tour this beautiful property. And I'll see you guys on the next one.